Hi everybody. So today we are going to make a squash doll out of uh, squash, just like they did in the book Sophie's Squash that we read. Um, so I have over here a collection of squashes. You can choose whatever kind you want of the hard squashes. They're better than the soft ones. And because we want Bernice to last a long time, that's the name of the doll in Sophie's Squash. Here's one we've been using these all fall for our Wobbling Goblin song. And you can use this kind, they're kind of tiny and nice. Um, or you can use the kind they use in Sophie's Squash, which is the butternut squash. And I have one that I already made here and you can see her face on there. She's already starting to get a little bumpy and some spots like she does in the story and I have her. But then I've been taking very good care of her. Her face has gotten a little worn so I'm gonna try to redraw it a little bit just now so you can see how I did that. This is a Sharpie and that keeps her eyes from, from coming off right away. So I start with making a magic C that goes around and turns into an O and then I make another one inside and then kind of color that in. Here's a magic C that turns into an O, boop doo there and color in. Here's a magic C for a nose. Oh yes, there's her nose. And here is a U for a smile. Down and back up. She's a little cold, so she's not, the marker doesn't want to work. There we go. Oh, there's her little face. Now you can see her eyes a little better. So now we need a way to be able to carry Sophie around. I mean, our squash around when we are playing with her. So I have a sling that I made before here and I'll show you, it's just a really long piece of fabric and the two ends are sewn together. If you like sewing with your parents, you could do that. And then that's a great place just to put Sophie and hold her while you're walking around. It's very helpful way to keep your hands free. This one's a little bit long. If I wanted to shorten it, I would tie a little knot in it. But if you don't have a lot of fabric just laying around your house, which most people don't, you can use maybe an old pillowcase that you're not using anymore, which is what I have right here. This is an old pillowcase that we didn't use anymore. And I just cut it apart so that it's nice and long. And if you measure by wrapping it over your shoulder like this, and seeing if it's long enough like that. And then you can do this part. You put the two ends together and just tie them in a little knot, just like that. You might need a little help with this, but that's okay. And then you just pull it out to the end. And you can think about what kind of name you like might like to give your squash. Um, I think I'm going to name this squash, hmm, maybe I'll name her Petunia. I think that's a cute name. It's really fun to give things names. Just fun to think of things that you might like to call someone. Nice things. And here I have my sling for Sophie Squash named Petunia. And I can just put her in there and carry her around like a sweet little baby. Some people give names to other things in their lives that they appreciate, like their car. We have a car that we named Blueberry because it was blue and round. But you can do that too. Well, I hope you guys have fun playing with your squash. And say, bye-bye, Petunia. I'll see you next time.